Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. On the 4th of May this year, uh, I decided to visit a newly created Samandar Katta Lake. This lake has been artificially created by the KP government. It's a new tourist destination in the Galiath region which has been recently launched by the KP government to promote tourism in the region. This lake is created artificially by the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government. It is a newly built tourist spot. Samandar Katta Lake is located in the Bara Gali, Nathya Gali area. It is at a distance of approximately 95 kilometers from Islamabad. It takes approximately 3 hours and 7 minutes to be precise to drive to this lake from Islamabad via the M1 motorway and then you take the E35 Zara Expressway via Abtabad to reach this place. If you're driving from Abtabad directly, then you can reach the lake in approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes time. When we left the house uh, early in the morning around 8 a.m. and uh, we headed towards the Samandar Katta Lake. Um, we took the Kashmir Highway, which is now called the Srinagar Highway, towards the motorway and we did that interchange and went on the Peshawar motorway. While driving on the motorway for about an hour or so, you get to the Express Hazara Express Highway E35 interchange. So you leave the Peshawar motorway and you follow this particular pathway which takes you towards Havelia, Haripur and Aptabar. So we took that route and enjoyed the beautiful views on that newly constructed motorway. Um, before we could reach the particular uh, place which was Samandar Katra Lake, I somehow had a feeling that um, we would not be able to reach that lake. It, it was just a gut feeling and while on the way we, um, as we were about to reach Aptabad and once you sort of leave the Aptabad local N35 and you take a right towards the uh, Nathya Valley exit and on your left you leave the um, Kalyani Road you come to a point which is called Harnoi um, area, Harnoi Resort area. Harnoi is a small town which is located 10 km east of Aktabad on the main Nathya Gali Road. Surrounded by beautiful mountains and hosts to a pleasant weather, Harnoi is the hub of tourist activities. The town is situated at the conflux of two small rivers, namely Harnoi and Birangali. It is said to be the gateway to Galiyad and the perfect tourist spot for a little picnic spree. Nestled in the bosom of the Hindu Kush mountains, the town attracts a large number of visitors to its picturesque landscape and the freezing waterfalls and streams passing nearby. The Harnoi River offers the ideal location for a quality retreat. On the road to Nathya Valley, a small off-road path leads down to the river where families gather at the edge to enjoy a hearty meal and rest their feet in the cold water. The Harnoi picnic point bustles with activity as kids treat themselves to fun-filled activities on the merry-go-rounds, horse rides and other recreational fixtures. As soon as you reach the Army Public School, uh, FF Campus Aptabad, on the main uh, Jinnah Road or the Aptabad Road, you make a right turn which leads you towards uh, Nathya Valley and Mari. It's called the Mari Road. So once you embark on the Mari Road, you start moving eastwards and you head towards the Harnoi uh, Resort. As soon as you uh, take this, this road, you realize that you start 
uh, inclining uh, towards Mari and the road gets higher and higher. On the road going towards the Harnoi uh, amusement park and uh, Harnoi uh, resort area, we saw a restaurant, beautifully laid back restaurant called Betak. And I suddenly, and it was right by the riverside, and we had a feeling, I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I had a feeling that we, for some strange reason, I was having this gut feeling that we may not be able to reach Samandar Kata Lake today. So we ended up going to Bethak, and um, we enjoyed a very good, sumptuous lunch there, and a cup of kawa, and then we um, went to the riverside, uh, there's a uh, Kalapani uh, river as it is called which flows uh, in this area and we enjoyed the cold water and the beautiful views and we took a breather here before going to uh, the Samandar Katra Lake. After staying in this place for almost two hours and relaxing and enjoying with family we headed towards the Samandar Katra Lake and once we reached uh, a point uh, whereby we found some people standing there with their uh, Bolan cars, uh, the Kari Daba, which is called in the local lingo, they told us that uh, they would charge us um, an amount of 3000 rupees and you cannot take your cars there, especially my car, it would touch, the, the lower part would touch and the road was not good and somehow I had this great feeling and we decided not to go there. So we ended up heading towards Nathia Gali instead. Nathia Gali uh, is a hill station in mountain resort town located in the Aptabad district of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Pakistan. It is located at the center of the Galiat range where several hill stations are situated. Nathia Gali is known for its scenic beauty, hiking tracks and pleasant weather which is much cooler than the rest of the Galiat range due to it being at a higher altitude. It is situated approximately 32 kilometers, which is 20 miles away from both Mari and Ekabad. The weather of Nathiagali remains cool, pleasant and foggy in summers, which are between 1st May to 31st August. But during monsoon season, which usually lasts between 1st July to 16th September, Rain is expected almost every day and uh, um, cold winds start to chill the weather in autumn winters which last from 1st November to 28th February and they are very cold and chilly. In December and January heavy snowfall falls here. The weather remains cold in spring. The most comfortable weather is the summer season. Frequent rainfall occurs here annually. The rainfall lies between 1650 mm to 1850 mm annually in winter. Temperature can drop to negative 10 degrees Celsius and in summer it rises to a high of 30 degrees Celsius. Nathia Gali town also serves as the administrative center of Nathia Gali Union Council. It is located in the Aptabad district, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. At an elevation of 2410 meters, which is approximately 8000 feet, it is a popular tourist resort in the summer months. It is forested with pine, cedar, oak, walnut and also oak and maple trees. During the summer, Nathia Valley is relatively popular among tourists, but due to its limited area and availability of property, it is not thronged by as many people as the hill station Mari, which is only an hour away, even though it has more recreation. Nathia Valley is known for a beautiful track that leads to Thandiani that passes through the Dagri Naka or the Dagri Banglo as it is commonly called. The Yubia National Park is also one of the spots here that tourists and nature lovers often visit. And while you are in Nathia Gali, um, you cannot miss the Pataha Chicken Restaurant. Um, I personally did not go to this place any earlier, but uh, once we went hiking and one of my friends, 
He told us that if you've not been to the Patakha chicken restaurant, then you have not been anywhere in Madhya Valley. So, um, this was the second time I was going there with family, of course. So, no visit to Nathya Valley is complete without a meal at the iconic Taj Mahal Hotel restaurant. Don't go to the Dhaba like appearance of the place. The food here is absolutely awesome. The must eats the Pataha firecracker chicken. It's a jaga roasted whole chicken, deep fried in red chili flakes. Yes red chili flakes, a legendary dish that lives up to its fiery title. It must be accompanied by the humble yet uniquely flavorful dal mash, making for a delicious, hard to beat combo. The skinny naans and raita perfectly complement this superb meal. Odds are you will want to repeat this fiery cracking dining experience at least a couple of times during your stay at the school heavenly hill station. So we went there with family, we enjoyed the Pataha chicken, we went around, uh, after that we had um, a cup of coffee and it started to get cold. As usual in Nathya Valley in the evenings, it gets colder and colder, even the summer season. The temperature never reaches beyond 30 degrees Celsius. So, uh, we enjoyed some coffee and the kids had ice cream and we decided to leave. So this time around we uh, went towards Mari rather than coming back to Aptabad which was a much longer route. So we ended up going towards Mari, took the expressway and finally reached home uh, late in the evening and thus a wonderful day came to an end. Till I come up, come up with some other clip from some other expedition, you go and enjoy yourself and hope you've enjoyed this clip as well. You take care now. This is Sheikh Muhammad Ali signing off. Allah Hafiz.